Hi, God bless you. This is Evangelist Isaac Blaha from the Fire Within Ministries. And uh, you see me uh, post some videos of me cooking before I go to church or before I'm going out. And um, one of the things I'm going to be cooking today is I'm going to be making um, squash spaghetti. And I have a squash right here and it's a product uh, from Mexico. And uh, you're probably wondering like what is what do you mean about it uh, if you haven't seen this before. What is squash spaghetti? And I'm going to show you step by step what it is. Uh, it's a substitute in case you want to eat healthy during the week, meaning that if you don't want to eat carbs, rice, or actually use uh, real al dente spaghetti. And if you want to go ahead and cut those carbs, then you could go ahead and make squash spaghetti out of a squash. So I will show you step by step as and give you directions on how to do this. So the squash itself, it's very hard, um, and um, you have to go ahead and cut it and make uh, perforated uh, slits in the squash so that you could go ahead and um, cut it itself. But one of the things that um, I was told that you could do is that you could go ahead and um, make the slits and then actually put it in the microwave for a couple of uh, minutes so that it could be soft, then you could cut it in half. So let me go ahead and do that. So what you want to do is that you want to make a couple of slits in the squash itself. Just a couple of slits like in a line going so you got to be careful because it does move so make sure you don't cut yourself so you could do that on the side and basically you're just doing this so that when you um, put it in the microwave the heat goes in the heat goes in so be very careful when you do this make sure you don't cut yourself and you're doing this so when you take it out of the microwave it's going to be very easy to to actually cut in half because it will be softened and you'll be able to cut right through that line so just make a couple of slits there and just do that so that um, it because because if you put it in the microwave without making these slits then it could explode and that would go ahead and be a disaster for what you're trying to do so you want to take the squash and like I said put it in the microwave for about three to four minutes so it could soften off uh, and then you'll take it out and it'll be easier to cut so put it about three to four minutes Okay, we'll wait, then we'll take it out and we'll cut it and it should be easier. Okay, so we took it out of the microwave and we're going to cut it in half. Um, it's still going to be very hot, so make sure that you use something. Uh, maybe get um, a towel um, from the kitchen and just hold it and then just cut it in half through those lines that we made. And then you just cut it in half. Cut it. Okay, this part is going to be pretty hard to cut, uh, but I'll get to that right now. So you just cut it in half by those lines that you made. There you go. It's soft. As you can see, it's really soft on that side right there. Cut it in half. Okay, see how it opened up? Now this part is going to be hard, so you could open it up this way like that, and then you'll see that uh, it opens up easily. Now you're going to see there's a bunch of seeds in here. So you can see there's a bunch of seeds. And some of these seeds, what you could do is um, you could use them um, and uh, actually toast them and make some pumpkin seeds or like uh, you would you eat pumpkin seeds. So what we're going to do is we're going to scoop these seeds out and we're going to put them to the side in case we want to use it for later for something else. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and uh, take the squash. It is still kind of hot so I'm going to use this towel, kitchen towel here. And uh, basically what you're going to do is you can see some, it's starting to look already like spaghetti. But you know, take the seeds, just take the seeds off and uh, put them in uh, another dish like I'm doing here. Take them out, just save them here, or if you want to throw them away, whatever you want to do, if you want to use them again. But take them out, and then um, we're gonna go ahead and um, put this in the oven. Now you could do this in the microwave too if you want to. It's faster, um, but um, when you put them in the oven, it gets a little bit toastier. So you could, all this stuff, you know, this is like spaghetti, it's gonna look spaghetti as you can see. So just go ahead and do that. And then, um, whoops, we're gonna put some of this here to the side. Take the other one too, and um, just scoop it up. It is pretty hot, so you'll probably get some seeds here and there. Um, you go wait. Um, I just didn't want to wait for the uh, purpose of this making this video. Um, I um, just want to make sure. Oh, I just want to make sure that um, we get this done. Um, should have done this video uh, earlier, but I had so many things to do throughout the day. Um, you know. Um, what I always say is that, you know, as you know, um, 
uh, man is a tripartite being. They're, you're made out of a uh, body, soul, and spirit. And um, whatever you put, you are what you eat. If you um, eat the Word of God, which is the bread of life, you have your spiritual life gets um, uh, full. And uh, same thing, if you eat healthy, then you are healthy. You're a healthy body, soul, and spirit. So basically, um, you know, this dish is in ca is uh, like I said. If you don't want to eat carbs, if you want, you're you're on a diet, but it is pretty tasty. It is a uh, it tastes uh, sweet, and then with the other stuff that we're gonna put, we're gonna put turkey on it. It's gonna taste really good. So here here's how it looks. You could also put um the the meat in here too, and the sauce. We're gonna put some sauce, and we're gonna put meat and other things here, onions and garlic and so forth. You could serve it this way as well and I'll show you how to do that in a couple minutes. So basically we're done here. We're done with the with the seeds here. Like I said, you can use the seeds or um, put them in the oven and make uh, pumpkin seeds and you could go ahead or not pumpkin seeds but actually eat them like pumpkin seeds. So you can use that if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to use this dish right here. I'm going to use this dish and basically what you could do, what we're going to do is that we're going to go ahead and um, Drizzle it with a little bit of um, olive oil. This is olive oil. I'm gonna put, get the dishes. I'm gonna get the two squashes here. I'm gonna put them in here. I'm gonna move this away, out of the way. Okay. So you can see here. You can see them. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drizzle a little bit with olive oil. Olive oil is really good. Grape oil also, uh, but olive oil is uh, really tasty. Then of course you want to season it. The seasoning is very simple. You know, put a little bit of salt. You know, we need to get it, uh, if you don't put salt or pepper, it's not going to have any flavor because as it is, it's not like, it's not like pasta, like I said. Put a little bit of salt, you can put pepper as well, crushed pepper, whatever you want to do. Season it really good. We're going to season it again uh, once we take it out and uh, it's going to taste really yummy. You're going to like it. I know it's healthy. Uh, something, you know, if you do food preparation, you could also go ahead and um, uh, go ahead and um, uh, make a couple of... Um, Tupperware and uh, put them on the side for uh, your lunch or for dinner when you come home. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and flip this over. I'm going to flip it over this way. See it? Flip it over this way. And then we're going to put it in the oven for about, you could put it in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, I like to put it maybe for about 35, 40 minutes. So, so we'll put them in the oven and then we'll wait and then we'll get going and the other stuff. So put it in the oven and we'll let it, we'll let it cook for a couple minutes and then we'll go from there. For this, I'm going to use turkey, and this is um, uh, ground turkey, and it's 85% uh, lean, 15% fat. Now, you could do the 93% uh, as well, but I want it, I don't want it so dry. I want it, uh, the fat is good in the meat sometimes, it, it, not sometimes, but always, uh, because you don't want your meat to be so dry. So, we're going to use this turkey, and then um, I am uh, not going to make it all, just because uh, I, uh, it's, uh, you know, I'm not going to make it all, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, make some of it so basically what you'll do is I like to use a little bit of butter a little bit of butter and then, and then why also at the same time you know I want to drizzle a little bit of olive oil also just a little bit just so you get the flavor because the combination of the olive oil with the butter is uh, a really good uh, chemistry combination that makes it taste really good. So I have that in there and I'm gonna get some of the turkey in here. Put some of it here. You probably have, I use half of it. Okay. And then um, we'll let that um, cook for a couple minutes. Um, you can let it cook about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, turkey is pretty lean, much more leaner than um, Turkey is much more leaner than, than um, actually ground beef. So we'll let that cook for a little bit there. And I think I'll put a little bit more just because we'll do that in some in this. So we'll put that a little bit more. And then um, we'll go from there. We'll let it cook for a little bit. So the other thing we're going to do, of course, is we're going to season it. So just like I said, a little bit of salt. Put some salt, give it some flavor. And then. Um, See that with pepper. Pepper is always really good. Really tasty. You know, sometimes when you cook, uh, if you're cooking a burger, if you're cooking um, um, a steak, uh, all you need is, is the basics, which is salt and pepper. 
that was enough to give it flavor. Uh, it's all about um, how much you put because there's other things, of course, that will go on your plate. But a simp simple salt and pepper will give it enough flavor where the juices of the meat will come out and they will go ahead and penetrate with the salt and the pepper. So we'll let that cook a little bit. Okay, so we're letting the spaghetti up, the spaghetti, the turkey cook a little bit. Sorry about that. Um, and then you also want to add some onions. So I'm going to add some onions, add some onions, uh, just to give it um, that flavor. Um, you know, sometimes you don't have to use a lot of salt. Um, I, I put a, a little bit of a pinch there and there, here and there. Um, but um, just with the ingredients that you use, like the vegetables, um, like uh, the onions, or in this case, I'm going to put carrots. And then we're going to put some um, tomatoes and some other sauce. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some of the, we're going to put the onions in here. And uh, we'll put some onions, we'll put the onions, and I'll put some carrots. I already cut the carrots. And we'll put some tomatoes, and I already cut some of the tomatoes. And then we'll mix that up a little bit here. Okay. Mix it up together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... Um, some um, spaghetti sauce and this one is a prego and it's also garlic and herbs so I'm going to put some of this here you could also use uh, canned tomatoes already with uh, with the sauce already but whatever's to your liking whatever's to your flavor um, it's up to you whatever you want to do so we'll let, that cook, we'll let this cook for about 15 minutes or so and then uh, let the uh, juices of the sauce the carrots, the tomatoes, uh, absorb the turkey, and then uh, we'll put that in there. I'm going to put a little bit more sauce in there because I like uh, more sauce on mine. I don't like it too dry, so we'll let that cook for a little bit. And we'll let it absorb. And uh, we'll come back, and then we'll do the next, we'll do the next step. So you may also want to add um, some um, some basil leaves. Basil leaves. This will uh, once you put that in there, you will smell the aroma, how great it tastes, and how wonderful it smells. And also some garlic. Um, I'm using some uh, garlic powder, but you could chop some garlic, and you could go ahead and uh, add some garlic as well, um, and then chop it in and put a couple of of, of um, cloves in there as far as when you chop them up. Um, it's starting to smell really good, and I can't wait to see the final product. Okay, so I took the squash out of the oven, and you can see it's a, there's a little bit of char on, on the sides right here, so uh, which um, you could only get from um, cooking in the oven as opposed to in the microwave. You could also do it in the microwave. I'm sure it tastes uh, really good in the microwave. I haven't done it yet, um, but it tastes faster, but like I said, if you want that char taste, uh, do it in the oven for about 35, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, whatever you want to do. So what I'm going to do, um, it's uh, a little hot, but not as hot. I I've been letting it cool down for a little bit. I'm going to use uh, this little rag right here. So basically what you do is uh, let it cool down for about maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, so you could be able to, to handle it and touch it. So you'll, you'll go ahead and do uh, get a fork, and you'll start scraping a little bit right here. And as you can see, as you scrape it, make a hole in there, you'll be able to see that this actually looks uh, like spaghetti. It starts to look like spaghetti, as you can see, strands of spaghetti. It's not spaghetti, it's not going to taste like spaghetti, but um, with the flavor of the meat and everything that we're going to put in, it's going to taste really good. Now you could go ahead and serve it this way in this little bowl, you could serve it in this little bowl. Um, and then what you could do is um, add a little bit more seasoning, maybe a little bit more um, olive oil. Olive oil is always really good. You could do that. Uh, you know, you might want to do this, you know, on a Sunday when you come from church. Um, you might want to do this, you know, preparation. Um, if you're, um, I, um, I'm training, um, I'm on the training, but I'm actually working out because um, I have you take some of my hedgehogs for the ministry for promotional material. But what you'll do is that you could serve it on top as I'm putting here. See how I'm putting a little bit here? And everyone could get their own little bowl of this. And uh, they could go ahead and, um, you know, it looks really nice with the little bowl. Um, you could add a little bit more salt if you want to. And some more pepper, of course. Got more pepper. And then um, 
If you want to, you could add cheese. You could add Parmesan cheese. I am gonna put, I decided to use Monterey Jack cheese just so I could give it a little bit of a kick, a flavor, a little bit of a, a spiciness. So you could do it that way. Everyone could have their little bowl or you could also uh, do it in a plate where people could have it on the plate as well. And you can make that um, decorated as well. Um, you know, it's uh, something that's, uh, you know, cooking is uh, something that's uh, really healthy. Uh, if you cook healthy, I should say, uh, but if you could cook a lot of healthy dishes uh, that could help you out um, in, um, in if you're preparing for uh, whatever it may be, if you're preparing for a photo shoot like I am, or if you're um, uh, working out to lose weight, uh, whatever your goal is. But if you take some time to prepare, it could be fun. Uh, one of the things that's not fun, of course, is cleaning up afterwards. But um, it is something that if you um, prepare with time. When I cook, I cook as I go. I cook as I go. It's another little bowl that um, you can use as well. Or you can serve it on a plate as well this way. You can see. Serve it, serve it on top. And I'll show you that in a little bit. And uh, you have a... Um, you either have the plate, which you could serve and give, or you could go ahead and do a bowl in this little squash bowl as well. Either one looks good. We'll taste it a little bit, see how it tastes, and then we'll go from there. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this food. Bless those who do not have any food, and um, bless all those that are hungry today, Lord. Give them something to eat. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm. The turkey, the onions, the cheese, all of it tastes really good. Like I said, it's something healthy. Um, it takes a little bit of time, but it's well worth it. Mmm. Very good. I recommend you try it. Thank you for watching. God bless you. If you like this video, let me know on Facebook or on YouTube. Visit our YouTube channel, The Fire Within Ministries. Uh, we do cooking. And we also, of course, uh, bring the gospel and preach the word of God. But something different that I want to do, I'll share with you, my Facebook followers. Um, I love you. Keep praying for me in this ministry. We have a couple of evangelical events that we have coming up in the next couple of months. It's a lot of work, but all for the glory of God, for, um, for the kingdom to be filled, for souls to come to Jesus Christ and be saved. And I hope you enjoy this video and um, eat hearty and have a wonderful and blessed week. God bless you. Oh, and look who we have here. Hi. Garfield. Hi, Garfield. How are you? So Garfield was here last time, and he's here again today. He's always my buddy. <laughs> hey, Garfield. How you doing? Hi, Garfield. Hey, do you want to eat? You want to try some of this spaghetti squash? Huh? You want to eat? Uh what you doing? Hey, you came to the studio here, huh? Garfield, last time you were here when we made fish tacos. They want to know if you made the eat some fish tacos. Huh? Hey? Oh, whoa. Can we close the camera? All right. <laughs>